One week from today, BYU will kick off spring practice and all eyes will be on the offense with the staff completely overhauled from last season. One of the new faces in camp will be quarterbacks coach Jason Beck and we welcome Jason Beck to Provo and welcome to True Blue. Well, thank you. Great to be here. Are you nervous to get started on this new gig? No, just excited to get going, you know, get to meet the players and, and kind of evaluate where they're at. We went and we dissected your career at BYU. Of course, the big day was a 38 to nothing victory over Utah State in a game that you started and played very well. And what did you learn as a player that might help you as a quarterback coach? Well, it didn't take long to dissect that, did it? Just that one step. <laughs> but, you know, um, having the opportunity to play here, one, you learn the importance of BYU football right. uh, and the passion that the fans have for it. Um, and then, you know, going through the, the situation of being a backup for a lot of my career, you know, it teaches you a lot of lessons about teamwork, about putting the goals of the program first, about always being prepared and ready to play, and, and when you get your opportunity, making the most of it. And uh, now that you're quarterback coach, as fans watch you work during a football game, what, what will you be doing? What, what does a quarterback coach do during the game? Well, you know, you hope that you do such a great job during the week, you don't have to do much on Saturday. Yeah. But the main thing is, is is to keep an eye on coverage, keep an eye on any wrinkles or differences the defense is throwing at you, get those communicated with your quarterback um, for any adjustments you want to make off of, off of the wrinkles they've put in. So it does say Taysom Hill is the quarterback. He throws an interception. He comes off to the sideline. You're the first in his ear. What, what, what do you, what's that exchange going like? Well, you know, you just want to see, hey, what were you looking at? What did you see? What you took your eyes there? Um, and kind of fix the, the, the mistake you made. Yeah, and are you a psychologist too? Like, hey, I know you didn't mean to throw that interception for a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no quarterback wants to, wants to do that. So, you know, you don't have to get on for a lack of trying. It's just a matter of what was the problem and how can you fix that mistake. Your road to Provo is interesting. Uh, you come from Simon Fraser, which isn't even in the United States, and it's the only NCAA school in another country. And yet you go there and, and, uh, and you're very productive with the quarterbacks that you had. What was that experience like? You know, it was a great opportunity to go up there to be an offensive coordinator and, and be in charge of running the whole system. Um, you know, it was a neat experience for a lot of Canadian kids. Their goal is to play American football, NCAA football. And so they were very excited to kind of get a coach with BYU's reputation uh, to come in there and coach them and, and had a great time. Also had some time with Ron McBride, three years in fact. Now he's a defensive guy, so how did you glean off uh, some offensive skills? You know, Coach uh, Mack was great. Um, you know, he gave me my first job at Weber State, like, like you said, three years to work with him. Um, he's an old school guy, he's a tough nosed guy, um, and he's really passionate about the old line. So at the offense, he was always interested in how those guys up front are doing. And, and you know, he just taught you a lot about holding your guys accountable and getting the most out of them. You're already on the job, but come Monday, it'll really start with the first day of practice. You got Taysom Hill and, and his injury status. What, what is he going to do on Monday? You know, he'll be able to do a lot of individual work. He'll be able to, you know, throw one-on-ones, throw Skelly, um, do some of those things. We're, he's going to get checked out by the doctor again to see if he can do 11 on 11 reps, but that's probably doubtful at this point. For the whole spring? Yes. And if that's the case, uh, how do you prepare a quarterback in, in this new type offense that Robert and I wants to establish? It seems like a big challenge. Um, you know, there's going to be a clean slate, and we're just going to start with seniority. So Munns, you know, has been here the longest, so he'll kind of step in day one getting those first reps, and then, you know, Ammon Olsen, and, and we'll go from there with guys getting their opportunity and their reps to show what they have. Well, as you look at the weapons that they're going to throw to with Hoffman and Oppo and Falslev and the, the slew of tight ends coming back and Williams and uh, Elisa coming out of the backfield, a quarterback isn't going to have to do a whole lot to look really good in that group. Yeah, I mean, the key for the quarterback, just like being a point guard in basketball, just distributing the ball to the open guy, taking what the defense gives you, and let your playmakers uh, handle it from there. As you visit with Robert and I in Bronco Mendenhall, as you take this job, um, and I, I have done the same, uh, and I kind of got the sense they were all business about revamping this offense. You get the feel? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, Coach Mendenhall has the highest standards for this program. And Coach and I came back with the purpose of, of uh, you know, just – doing a fantastic job and, and, you know, going fast and going hard and playing at a really high level. So there's uh, really high standards and really high expectations uh, starting with those two. We welcome you back. Look forward to seeing you on Monday and, and uh, eager to see what this group can do. Well, thank you very much. Quarterback coach Jason Beck back with us here on BYU TV.